What is it that binds Greeks together all around the world? To me, the undercurrent of Hellenism, the commonest and starkest theme that unites Greeks all around the world is philotimo. But what does it mean? Well, the literal translation means love of honor. In practical terms, to me, it means duty, loyalty, integrity, honor, love, faith, trust, and perhaps most important of all, the pride in being decent. It means the strong have a duty to help the weak. It means we should have conviction in our values and principles. It means we reap what we sow. It means taking the high road and rising above pettiness and triviality. It also means eliciting goodness and kindness through small but meaningful gestures, even when dealing with the most difficult of situations and dynamics. It is a totally natural expression of humanity, friendship, solidarity, and empathy. You cannot fake philotimo. However, sometimes when crisis hits, one's core values can be clouded by despondency and desperation. There has been in recent times a dilution of pride, principles, and purpose in Greece. We keep hearing about the financial crisis, not the social one. We do not hear about the massive jump in suicides, the rise in homelessness, the practical unwinding of the fabric of society. What can we do to help? How can we show our philotimo as Greeks of the diaspora and assist the Greeks of Greece? Well, let's start with, to me, what is the largest problem? There is a void of hope and a deficit of pride and opportunity in Greece today. I would say a reassertion of our core ancient values is the first thing we can do. We can remind people that a crisis is also an opportunity, not just an opportunity for profit or for business success, but an opportunity to reflect, to change, to be better, to be more humble. Trust is a fundamental cornerstone of any form of progress. It is the key that can unlock hearts and minds. The fabric of what we have built as a group and a family has been underwritten by Philotimo. The notion of deals done on a handshake, empowering people and trusting people across the globe to act and make decisions on our behalf. Across the centuries, the Greeks have shown how wrong it is to be guided purely by what is realistic. Was it realistic for Alexander the Great to conquer the known world? Was it realistic for the 300 Spartans to hold the line? Let's relate this to Greece today. Most would say, it is unrealistic for Greece to recover and prosper. I would say we should talk about what Greece can be and not continuously moan about how it has failed and what it cannot be. The starting point for recovery is belief. The second stage is strong and inspiring leadership. And the third is connecting with our core ancient values as a culture. So what can Greece be? Greece can be a regional hub of commerce and generate a service-based economy. All the money that has been poured into the country has lifted the infrastructure to that of a mainline European country. The country sits at the gateway of East and West. It is the border of the European Union. The Hellenic Navy patrols that border. Greece has many industries and people who just need the ceiling of negativity and cynicism to be lifted to allow their dreams and ambitions to flourish. There are thousands of hugely ca Thank you. <laughs> there are thousands of hugely capable small businesses which can be harnessed and encouraged to grow out of the disaster. They can be the engine room of growth for the country. Turning back to business and the application of Philotimo, I want to give some examples of how this has been our guiding principle as a family and as a group. The use of honesty to unite and disarm people. Doing deals on a handshake and without papers. We have to take our word to our grave. 
always treating people with respect and friendship, even when things sometimes and occasionally inevitably turn sour. Take care of your people, empower them, lead them, and yes, let them fail. The key is not failure itself. It is how we react to it. Does it confront us or do we confront it? Finally, and since this is an innovation conference, I want to say a few words about how crucial it is in life to constantly adapt and innovate. There is a misguided theory that it is the strongest and most intelligent who survive and come out on top in life over a lifetime. I would suggest that without adapting and innovating, the strong can become weak over time and the intelligent can become inflexible. Intelligence without wisdom to govern it dilutes over time. And to me, that wisdom emanates from a capacity to be innovative and adaptive. And above all, however much you adapt, always do it from a base of philodimo. Thank you for listening, and I wish you a good day.